Hi folks, uh, I hope you're doing okay. It's Tuesday the 3rd of October and it's about 20 past 6 in the evening. Uh, I'm finished work and Paula's cooking tea and I thought I'd just grab a few minutes. Firstly to apologise for not doing a end of September, show you what I made uh, pattern wise or pattern book wise video and for, do, for not doing one already for the October pattern. Um, it was Tobin's birthday on the 30th of September so we went out, uh, took him bowling and for lunch and stuff like that and did some shopping so that took up like all day Saturday. Roxy! She's just attacked a pile of washing. Roxy, stop it! No, stop it! You're a horrid cat, what do you do? She likes to um, pull all the boxer shorts off the pile. She that do for me. Um, she likes to pull all the box shorts off the pile because they're still warm from the tumble dryer and sit on them. But she just wrecks my pile of clothes. She's, no, well, it's Tobin's pile. She's vicious. And likes, obviously, likes a hot laundry to sit on. Uh, so yeah, we were busy all day Saturday and then we had visitors like non-stop on Sunday. So my weekend just disappeared and then back to work yesterday. Um, it's very busy and then today I worked and then, you see my plasters? I've had my steroid injections for the carpal tunnel. So, um, it didn't hurt. I made the mistake. I was talking about it well yesterday and someone who had it, uh, had a in steroid injection, because she had carpal tunnel in one hand when she was pregnant, just out of nowhere. Um, and she said, you'll be all right, just don't look at the needle. And then it, I was like, why did she say that? So I Googled, <laughs> or I searched for a YouTube video on the injection. That needle goes right in there, right in your jaw. And they moved it and made the person move their hands, move their fingers. And I was like, oh dear, that's quite scary. And because I was having both, I thought if one hurts, I've still got to have the other done. But they numbed them in the video. It turns out, mm, didn't numb them, didn't numb me. Um, but the injection itself, he did my left one first. And he was like sharp scratch, you know, like at the dentist. And honestly, it hurt less than the dentist it was you know not even like a normal injection or um taking blood or anything i hardly felt it but then he was he put the plaster on it because he did make you do like pinch your little finger and your thumb together and bring your wrist up and then they, you know to figure out where to put it and he says okay do the same with your other hand and i went can I just hang on a minute i'm feeling a little bit hot so i was like oh God, don't pass out so um he says, oh, you, do you normally get a bit woozy? I was like, well, it hadn't happened for a while. I thought, I'd, you know, having all the blood tests and stuff with having the kids, I thought I'd be okay and all the injections and stuff I've had. But yeah, I felt a bit, I think because I'd psyched myself up for it. Um, so yeah, he says, shall we lay down? Shall we lay you down for the next one? I was like, okay then. <laughs> and then bless him, you fetch me glass of water and he's just go you know I've got a little waiting area it's nice and quiet go sit there and just go when you're ready so I, I drove home I couldn't I got like I was numb in my little fingers but other than that it was okay it feels a little bit sore now like where like on my actual wrist but not too bad and he said I should wake up in the morning and feel no back to how it was hi Jack um so yes that's that so let me show you what I made in September. So the pattern book was the Creepy Cute book and I said I was going to try and make the Grim Reaper. And I did. There he is. And instead of, I think they wanted a polymer clay hook. And I went to get our polymer clay and got told it had all dried up. So Jack offered me his air dry clay, but that was all dried up as well. So I ended up needle felting a little size for him that I was going to needle felt on to his body. But needle felting hurt my hands as well, or like I got the pins and needles. So I got as far as doing that and then didn't do much else really. I did another craft fair on the 23rd of September. That was a bust as well. Uh, I think I took £36 and it cost me a raffle prize and it was going to be um, donating a portion of my proceeds but as like, I took so little and 10% would have been three pounds or whatever you know I was like no the raffle prize was worth more than that so 
yes that was a bit of a shame um, the next one is 11th of November remember it's Sunday I think it's on a Saturday though yeah Saturday and then I've got to take the kids for haircuts never ends <laughs> so yeah I've I've still got plenty of stock I will try and make some more stuff obviously if my hands play ball even more so but on that note I've had an order for a shark and two badgers now I thought he said badgers like pin badgers because we call them badgers over here not like pins or whatever necessarily um, and I was like badges of what what do they need to say it's like no badgers like the animal I was like oh I get you because uh chap at work recently lost his father lost his mum and his dad within six weeks of each other Ish. um so his daughters are obviously um you know they miss the granddad they miss the grandma but I think that the dad is more recent and you know more of a shock but his nickname was badger because he had a big um like black and white and grey beard so they called him badger so it's like could you would you be able to make me like two badger toys for my for my daughters for christmas i was like okay i'll go looking at patterns and then the lady who wants a shark she's i used to work with her on my old department um and she's from south africa and she loves sharks she's got a little like dancing great white on her desk um so she asked me for a shark. So I did originally look at my Crocheted Sea Creatures book by Vanessa Moonsey. Moon? Yeah, see. But um, it's 22 inches long or something like that, the finished size. So it's, too, it's huge, much bigger than Leanne wants and much bigger than I want to make, to be quite honest. So this is leading somewhere, I promise. Um, instead of picking a pattern book for October, I reckon we should do Sweet Oddity Art October. Um, because she's got free patterns, so if you don't have any of her patterns and you did want to try some, I'll link to, I think it's Lovecrafts. I'm sure it's Lovecrafts. But she's got a lot of her patterns on there for free. She has got some on Etsy, obviously. Of course, the shark and the badger are paid for patterns. I've already bought the shark. I've bought the, there's a bat, because it's cute so I bought that and I was waiting to hear back from the chap because he's only back he was on holiday yesterday so he was back today and he's like yes I love it um so I've got to buy that pattern and check I've got the yarn I need if not I'll be ordering yarn what a shame um but yes so I'll link to sweet oddity arts lovecraft page so you've got free patterns if you want to have a go at any um I've made all sorts of stuff from her, her pants are great. I've done the, the, I did a tiger and a hyena and I thought there's no way a hyena is gonna be cute or easy or a tiger's gonna be easy with stripes and they were brilliant. So I highly recommend her pants. So I'll link all that below. So um, apologies for not picking from one of my books but as crochet time has been limited and now I've got orders and craft fair stuff and, um, yeah, we'll see. So that's where I am with that. I'll quickly show you the Rings of Change blanket I'm making. Jess just realised the door's open and I can hear him singing and dancing around in the kitchen. Slash conservatory. So this is the Rings of Change I'm working on. And it is getting bigger. I've been on this row for what feels like, I've just finished it, um, this row, for about 14 years it feels like. It's row. 41 and it's 750 double crochets so with only doing a little bit a day uh, and not wanting to push it too much yeah I feel like I've been on it for ages and then I finished it this row the other morning in the car at work yesterday morning and I put my hook on the blanket got my scissors because it says to cut off read the next bit of the pattern I'm lifting my blanket up I thought where's the hook gone and the hook slid off the blanket off my lap into the the well where my handbrake is and straight through a hole. I think there's some sort of adjuster uh, uh, adjustment for the handbrake, but it should have a cover on it and it doesn't. But you only it's only visible when the handbrake's up. And it fell straight through that hole. I was like, car just ate my crochet hook. So I had to take parts of it 
undo screws and lift bits of plastic up and shove my hands in last night but I have got my hook bag so I could do some more of this tonight but I'll see how my hands are I might rest them totally and I got an order for you know the goth girl I made with the parasol well at the craft fair that didn't go well <laughs> the, the second one the most recent one a lady really liked it but wanted um, the dress in red with a red parasol so I started making another one of those and I was doing the hair last night and then I realized that I'd started in the wrong direction and I can't, I can't even fudge it because it's a, a rectangular shape that you work around and do the hair back and forth and so I couldn't put the fringe the fringe would have been like there on the head if I'd have carried on so I had to rip it all back which if you're on my Facebook I did some swearing about it last night because <laughs> it's black yarn as well but yeah so I've got that that I'm making but she hasn't as yet texted me so I wonder if it's going to be one of those things that she wants it and she doesn't actually text me but I don't know so that's that's where we are um, I'm hoping that I will feel better in the morning I've taken some painkillers now have some tea and then I'm just gonna chill I think um, work was very stressful last week um, especially towards the end of the week I had to have a meeting with someone this morning so I just went straight into work and I was like let's do this because it could have potentially been a bit of a uh, uncomfortable meeting but it was okay so phew <laughs> um, yeah and then it was just catching up from that and blah 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 but, and then I had to leave early to go to the doctor but on the way back from the doctors to home because I just came straight home and carried on working um, I swung by the drive through McDonald's and got myself a chocolate milkshake because I thought I deserved it I don't give you lollipops do they when you were growing up so I was like I'm going to have a chocolate milkshake so I did I thought I needed some sugar after my little woo, yeah. oh I feel hot <laughs> moment yeah so I'll keep you posted on how my hands go and what else I make um, please let me know if you go and check out Sweet Oddity and Caroline that's her name um, you know if you check out her patterns and you see any you like and you give them a go let me know um, yeah so I'm going to love you and leave you and see what this pasta is ready I'm having pasta with passata and I think Tobes is frying some pepperoni and chorizo and mushrooms to go in it I'm always having bacon in it because you know we couldn't all eat the same thing could we far too easy right so take care everybody I hope you're doing well um, and I will catch up with you all again soon. Bye guys.